This is not another Unreal vs Unity video. There are plenty of those already that you can go watch. This is about the secret war going on between those two engines. It's not about having the best game graphics. It's about Hollywood movies. My name is Dennis and I'm gonna try to unravel this war. I'm gonna put my game developer reputation on the line because what kind of game developer would I be if I didn't know what was going on? Epic released a new tech demo that features Nanite, Lumen and Metahuman. I won't go into details with these new features, but they are pretty awesome. They showcased it all in a matrix theme setting with A-list actors and impressive graphics that belong in a AAA game. It's a pretty impressive move. On the other hand, we got Unity. Unity have been playing catch up since Unreal first announced the mentioned features. What happened though is that they purchased Weta Digital. Weta is a special effects company founded by no other than Peter Jackson. They helped create Lord of the Rings, Avatar and lots of other movies. It might be the best VFX company in the world, competing closely with ILM. What's going on? Aren't these game engines? This part is gonna blow your mind. By the way, if you like this type of content, please give it a like. Since the 90s, games basically looked like crap compared to movies, because they needed to be real time. If you use your computer to calculate lights, it'll do a better job than if you give it 24 hours per frame compared to one sixth of a second. I mean, back in the days, computers were not that powerful that they are today. That's why companies like Pixar had a render farm with hundreds of computers to render out the beautiful films. As technology evolved and games become prettier, the gap has been less noticeable. The last two decades also involved real-time graphics moving more into filmmaking. For example, James Cameron used a virtual camera on Avatar. This is a lot, but the important takeaway is that real-time graphics are increasingly becoming more important to filmmakers and is the future for big Hollywood movies. In the future, big Hollywood movies will be made with runtime graphics. This opens up a whole new market for game engines. They already battled it out to win over the developers, so now they're going after filmmakers. Unreal was used on The Mandalorian, and it showed impressive tech with a screen dome and real-time graphics, which makes it a lot easier to make visual effects, because you see the end result instantly. And you game ambient lighting with almost no post-processing work. Unreal have a well-established relationship with Industrial Light and Magic, which was acquired by Disney, and they do most of their VFX work. Unity did not only buy Veta, but they also brought Exposure, which is a virtual camera setup Unreal established a great deal with the Mandalorian and it conquered a lot of the market. Which is why I believe Unity brought the best VFX company in the world. It wouldn't surprise me if Unreal was used on the new Matrix movie. There's actually two markets. One is the VFX market and another one is animation. Both can be extremely expensive. Any way to cut down on budgets are welcomed. Who do you think will win the war? What do you think the future of game engines look like? I have another video where I look into the tech that Unreal showed in this Matrix demo as well. I hope you think I succeeded in maintaining my game developer reputation. I hope you enjoyed the video.